If you've ever seen self-driving cars being tested, you've probably noticed the dome or inverted triangle on top of the vehicle. That's LiDAR, and 22-year-old Austin Russell may have just raised the stakes on how well this laser-based system works. Based both in Orlando, Florida and Silicon Valley, the young CEO's Luminar has built its own proprietary version of LiDAR from the ground up, and the results are incredibly impressive. So five years ago, I founded this company, uh, Luminar, with the goal of being able to develop high-resolution, long-ranging LiDAR centers, specifically for the autonomous vehicle industry. What this comes down to at the end of the day, and what, what uh, you know, our vision is, is to make autonomous ve vehicles both ubiquitous and safe. Because you have to take into account you know, these crazy scenarios that happen when driving, you know, everything from like when a kid you know, runs out in the road chasing their ball all the way to you know, if there's a tire left on the road way in the distance or dead stop traffic spontaneously ahead. To accomplish this, Luminar uses a 1,550 nanometer laser wavelength, which the company says is 40 times more powerful than legacy systems. For example, high-end Velodyne's HDL64E uses a 903 nanometer wavelength. Numbers aside, the demonstration was impressive, with the system seeing a black panel over 200 meters away. A lot of the industry is just buying off-the-shelf components, and like you know, their lasers and receivers and all this stuff. We had to build this you know, from the chip level up to meet this level of performance. While Russell has been working on the tech for five years, Luminar now wants to move extremely quickly. It's currently launching with 100 unnamed partners to basically beta test the system. The partners will report back to the company any issues or ideas they have to make the LiDAR better. After that, Luminar wants to build 10,000 units in its own facility for customers by the end of the year. If it can pull it off, that'll be even more impressive than its LiDAR technology.